The First Epistle of Peter. Chapter 5. The elders which are among you I exhort, who am also an elder, and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed, feed the flock of God which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, but willingly, not for filthy lucre, but of a ready mind, neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being in samples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd shall appear, you shall receive a crown of glory that fades not away. Likewise, you younger, submit yourselves to the elder. Yes, all of you be subject one to another, and be clothed with humility, for God resists the proud, and gives grace to the humble. Humble yourselves therefore under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care on him, for he cares for you. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walks about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resists steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brothers that are in the world. But the God of all grace, who has called us to his eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that you have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, settle you. To him be glory and dominion for ever and ever. Amen. By Silvanus, a faithful brother to you, as I suppose, I have written briefly, exhorting, and testifying that this is the true grace of God wherein you stand. The church that is at Babylon, elected together with you, salutes you, and so does Marcus my son. Greet you one another with a kiss of charity. Peace be with you all that are in Christ Jesus. Amen.